I'm spending 18 hours on this boat without getting off. We really got water, I've got no food. So we have to basically catch food to eat it. What the hell's that? We don't want no food on that boat, I told you, no food. Are we gonna go toilet? Did you think of that? We're gonna have to make a way to go to the toilet. I think we're gonna go number one's over the side, number <laughs> two's maybe in the bucket. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Whips out, tell you, we're this is the size of the boat. So the challenge doesn't actually start until the bottom of the hull hits the water. So if you need a stretch, bearded fisherman, stretch now because you're not going to be able to stretch on the boat. Slow, slow, go slow. Keep going as the hull touched. Yeah. Challenge has started. We want to drive around from Clifton Springs all the way up to Swan Bay because we're going for gummy sharks. And we have the gummy shark expert that's about to jump in the boat right now. <laughs> Let's go guys. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. So the first thing that we want to basically chase, we want to eat some lunch. Either, and we want lunch and we want bait for the gummies, yeah? What bait do you reckon we get? Salmon, pike, calamari are all good baits for the um, gummies. So now we're just going to do a bit of bait collection and cook up a little bit when we get hungry. Because we've got all day, all night on this boat um, and I need to eat something. And as you can see, it is packed with everything that we need. Trying to make some room because as you can see we can't really move much shit everywhere so we're going to make some room we're going to try to put all this at the front of here we're actually going to take out the anchor i've got extra fuel because we are driving around from clifton springs all the way to port arlington and we're going to trawl around port arlington for some salmon or some pike okay so we've made the boat more cleaner check that out we've got some more room there so we're going to try and get a feed of squid here um we can use the squid heads like al said before for the gummies so we will need as much squid as we can before it gets dark. Yes, I was on his first one. Well done, bro. We need this. Is this for us to eat or for the gummy? Oh, I think this one can be for bait, bro. Talk me through. When you want in the rod, what do you do with this squid? So when you bring it in, you like to bring it in alongside the boat. Like to make sure that the line comes alongside the boat and the person just grabs the head and away we go. Oh, come on. Bring it to me, baby. Bring it here. We need him. Lift the rod up. That's it now, you, you lift, lift, lift the rod. There you go. <sighs> yes! Whoa! First one. What colour was that? That was a pilchard. Look at the size of that boy for Queen Clifton Springs. <laughs> Woo! That's one in the boat. Beautiful. So Alex just lost his lure. So we're going to have a competition. The rainbow versus this blue one here. We're going to see which one catches more squid. We've only got one squid at the moment. Well, we want to feed. We want to have like two for us to eat. And we need at least five squid for bait tonight. So we're, we're creating small fish into massive gummy sharks. So we just made a move a bit more further up. We only got the one squid out of that. But check out the ground that we're at now. If we don't pull out at least 15 calamari out of here, there's something wrong. We've only managed to pull out one squid from this drift and we've been here for about half an hour. It's around two o'clock, okay? We wanna we wanna be making our way towards St. Leonard's and Port Arlington because it takes around in this boat, it's gonna take us about what half an hour to 40 minutes to do that. Probably a little bit more because it is gonna be windy um, before it gets dark. So we wanna start making our way up. We're gonna work our way up just a little bit more up the coast here, past Clifton Springs boat ramp. If we can get some squid along here, and then we're gonna make our way up more. We'll target some whiting and then we'll keep going up because we wanna trawl for some salmon and some pike at Port Arlington. So I've got a nice calamari here. Found a nice spot of weed. Right on, Al. On the blue, what color is that, bro? Uh, pilchard. Pilchard again, nice one. I can't get one. All right, we got two so far, guys. We need some more. Beautiful, it's a nice size one. Well done, bro. Look at that. This is a nice one. This is a very nice one. I just dropped one before, so I don't want to drop it. Come on. Jesus. That's what the rainbow jig does, yeah? It's a nice size. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Beautiful size on the rainbow. Yep. We have bait now for the gummies. This squid jig never ceases to amaze me, or always ceases to amaze me. How do you say that phrase? It just always makes me smile. Task number one is complete. We've got our squid. So we've got enough for a feed. 
We've got enough for um, for the gummy sharks tonight. Now we're just going to get a feeder whiting and cook up some whiting tonight with the squid. So make our way down there now and see if we can get a good feed. I'm going to see how I get whiting into full detail. Watch the latest video that I put up. I'm gonna, it's going to show you guys how to get the whiting, okay? How deep is it here? Uh, four and a half. When you go for whiting, you want it really patchy, bit of sand and a bit of weed, okay? Now we've got Al, we're going to be using pippies here. The bearded fisherman is getting the pippies ready. Beautiful. We've been getting the whiting on all the pippies at the moment. I'm going to give it around, say, half an hour, no more, because we're running out of daylight and we want to be around Port Arlington, at the front of Port Arlington, in the afternoon to trawl around for salmon and pike. So we've got more bait and more variety for these gummy sharks. Beautiful. First whiting for the day. Yes, that's a nice size whiting. Beautiful. Alex's rod just took off as he turns his back and there's a nice view. Oh, there's a nice size whiting on this one. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. This is a beautiful size whiting. We're getting him now. Before you get another two, beautiful, then we can start making our way up to Port Arlington just for a feed. We just want a bit of a feed for tonight. So, this is a rig that Al was using that he got every single whiting on with this rig here. So just a swivel with a sinker, it can run all the way up and down. I've did well with this rig, but it's a lot hit and miss. So if you don't get them on this rig, just keep changing, okay guys? We started to make our way to Port Arlington now. Look at this sun behind me. Man, there's no wind at all here. Oh man, this is so good. I can't wait to trawl. We're gonna trawl for salmon still. Hopefully we get a few pike, which would be amazing. Just waiting for Al to secure the boat so we've got a bit more room here. in front of Point Richard so we've got another 20 25 minutes maybe half an hour left it's beautiful here isn't it it's quiet nice. all right let's keep going up we've just seen dolphins where are they where they go oh I don't know where they've gone just here at the front of the boat I just seen it basically we are here that's Port Arlington Caravan Park I think the front of it So we're in front of Port Arlington now, we're going to trawl along here, past that ramp there where the toilet block is. Um, in front of Bluestone to try to get some salmon or a couple of pike through here. Okay, we're going to set our rods up. I'll show you guys the, the lures that we're using anyways, okay? For these pike or salmon, whichever one we get. So we're just going to tie the braid onto the mono. This is the lure I'm going to be using. Clear. Get some line out. So we're going to go another 5Ks up, there, uh, up that way. I'm going to trawl towards it and see how we go. Still trawling, no luck at the moment. Really calm today, which is good. Hopefully this last drip. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Yeah? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, oh man. Is it still there? Oh, I think I dropped in. Or was that the bottom? No, it's not there. Oh, I thought that was on. Bit of weed. Yeah. Bit of weed, I got excited. You when you get that feeling when the rod moves and you get that excited, you think it's a fish and you just like believe it's a fish when it's not. 
That's just what happened to me then. This lure that I've got on now, I've caught actually pinkies and snapper and that. Wow, it's about three meters. It'll be hitting the bottom. We're gonna just move out of touch, I reckon. We've packed up the reels. We're gonna stop trawling because we've only got like 40 minutes of daylight left and we wanna make sure, like Al said, we're gonna go to the spot and make sure that we know what's around us because it's gonna be pitch black. We've gotta try beat the sun. Let's go. We'll, we'll see you guys when we get to the spot. Hopefully it's not dark. Just made it to the, the first stop. We're gonna put the anchor down. How deep is it here, Al? 14, 15 meters. We're just waiting now. The sun's just about to go down. We've got the anchor on now. The sun is pretty much gone. We've got the anchor light there set up. We're about to throw the first rod in. I haven't gone toilet in like five, six hours. That squid that we caught today. Show us the size hook we're using. What Gamma size? Gamakatsu Circle size eight. And we've just cut the squid head off and I'm just gonna go through the squid head straight back out and I think that should be sufficient. The size of this squid head, catch a monster gummy shark tonight with this, it's just all over, it's game over. All right, first one. But you just drop it down to the yep. bottom. So, big sinker, gummies go through the contour line on the bottom, nice tight drag. Let me get out the rod holder. Just dead weight. Dead weight? Oh, something there. Whew. Coming? Yeah. It's not a gummy. You don't reckon? Nah, no head shakes, but definitely a good sign to start off with. What do you reckon it is? Oh yeah, it's a stick now. So it's starting to get pitch black now. We've got the lights, the anchor light at the front. So hopefully this wind doesn't pick up too much. Seven hours on this boat. I feel a bit seasick now. All right, we're gonna chuck some burly out. What's it doing? There you go. What a eater, that's a big boat. It's just about to start cooking some food. Hopefully that screams. Yeah, that's a gummy. You reckon that's a gummy? On? What is it? I don't know. It's fighting. Oh yeah, it's fighting. Woohoo! How do you feel? Good, bro. I don't know what this is. Show us it. Huge. Oh man, check out the size of him. It's not what we want, but is it? Nah, but we'll put him back. Alright, put him on this side. Off you go, mate. Probably can see Melbourne, the city of Melbourne right there. Probably a bit hard to see, I turn that off and uh, you probably can't see it. The thing, quick, quick just to grab it. Oh, to get her out. There you go. Oh, in the drag. Is it coming? Turn the boat, look at that. Don't get it tangled in the anchor. I'm going to go under. That's it, bring it here. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. Bring it here. Just give it to me. All you gotta do is pass through the rope. That's it. Throw the anchor back in. This is something big. Ugh. Oh man. What is it? I need a game chair. It's gonna pull me in the water, bro. Yeah, I'm scared that the hook lets go and I fall <laughs> over, bro. Oh. Don't high stick the rod. What do you mean? Don't go too high. Why? Because you'll break it. Getting head shakes now. Oh, I'm pretty tired now. Coming towards the boat. I want to break it off. I want to see what it is. I want to get it to the boat, yeah? Man, I am wrecked. Oh, God, me. Give me some motivation. Yeah, I got him. Come on. It's actually fighting, all right. Pump and wind. Oh, my back is killing me. I haven't got off this boat. Come on, bro. Pump and wind. Oh. <laughs> I can't even get it up. It's coming. Do you reckon? Big dirty dog. Uh, it's coming. Now if it's a massive seven gear, we'll just cut it. Why? I'm not gonna bring it in the boat. 
Whoa! My back's just seized. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you want to take over? <sighs> Come on, bro. You got it. Ooh. There you go. Oh. What do you reckon it is? Might be a nice gummy. What do you reckon? Maybe. Fuck, I can't even wind it. It's that heavy. If it is, we're going to be in strife. What is it? <clears throat> oh, it's this was the ray. Dude, just cut it quick. It's going to cause this drama. Look at the size of the ray. <laughs> How big is it? Dude, that's the size of the boat. Don't ever, if that whips our tail, we're fucked. That's the size of the boat. <laughs> okay, cut it, cut it. Look at the size of it. <laughs> Look at the size of it. I couldn't like bend my knees. That's how bad my back was seized. I just wanted to like, yeah. I just think. Dude, that was easy 50, 60 kilos. That looks good, huh? Yeah. yeah. That fish was so big that it actually moved us off, off the mark because it was pulling this little boat. Pulled us to Melbourne. We're in Melbourne CBD now. Because that fish pulled us off the mark around 20 meters, we have to re-anchor. So we're going to pull up the anchor. We've pulled up the two rods and we're going to go back that way 20 meters because we're off our mark now because that thing just screamed. <laughs> My back still sees, so I've got to wait five minutes and then we can go. Who's up? Is it there? Yep. I don't know what it is. Do you feel him? Yeah. Oh, come on, what is it? What is it? Gummy? Yep. Yes! <laughs> Wait a sec, bring it here. I want to grab its tail. Oh, I don't want to lose it. I've never done this before. Alright, so what you do is... Can I grab the leader or no? on the spot within what half an hour to an hour oh look at that never eaten gummy shark before so <laughs> yes, we did it look at its mouth and that i just wanted to go through it they've got really no teeth in there and that's what we so i was just cut it from the side there and cut it through there as well through the gills heaps of meat on there for the family so so we just worked out the math and we've got nine hours still on the boat they said the wind was going to pick up at 11, so I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know what happens. We're in 16 meters of water. Oh, I'm gonna We're on doubles. Uh, yeah, three one. Yep. Are you really? Yep. Oh. Oh no, this is good. What you want? Gummy. I think we're tangled. Good fish. Which one's on the fish? <laughs> Look at the size of it. Oh my god. Look at the size of seven. Fuck. <sighs> Alright, what are we gonna do? I don't. Dude, we're just... Oh look, still a little flatty there. We're all tight. Sorry, we'll untangle it. Show me the way to go home. Dum, dum, I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago and it went straight through my head. You know the rest of the words? So we've officially done 10 hours. But there's no wind at all. Times 11 o'clock, my ass is sore now. Ugh. How are you coping? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Bit hey. sore here and there, but uh, I'm on uh, rod alert and rod watch, so that means that make sure they're baited and ready to go at all times. Because you don't come out here for nothing. Having a bit of a quiet spell at the moment, half an hour or so without a bite. So we just picked up and moved, and let's see what this brought brings us.
The wind is starting to pick up just a little bit now. I don't know if you can hear it through the GoPro, but we do not want to be stuck out here with wind. We know it's going to blow up. What time did they say? About one, two o'clock. One, two o'clock. We don't want to be stuck out here. We've made the decision to drive back really slow. We don't want the wind to pick up out here, especially when we're that far away in such a small boat. So we're going to go back and we might do, I don't know, we might cook something because I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, let's cook something. Oh yeah, she's all here. Looks beautiful though, right? yeah? Mm. This spot we're wrong. Yeah, we're just going to go slow here. 400 mil. Oh, I'm just having a stretch. We've got like five hours left until it's done. Uh, we're gonna keep making our way up. We just passed Point Richards before. We're just gonna keep making our way up. We've made it to our spot. We're just in front of the old pier. We're gonna do a bit of a cook up um, and then we'll go from, see where we go from there. Four hours left, guys. I haven't got off this boat. I don't even know how long it But yeah. Is it cold? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get the cooker out. It's a bit windy. I don't know if you guys can see how windy it actually is. Alright, let's turn it on. Load. Boom. Ba -da -dum, boom, boom. I'm here saying, well, well. So I've made a bin, guys, for all our cooking waste. So we'll take it back on shore with us. So what are you using there? Corn flour. Bit of nice salt and pepper. Oh my god, I can go a bit higher, yeah, but that's pretty good like that. Oh, I am hanging for this. We haven't eaten. When was the last time you eaten? You, you yeah. had some. 12 hours ago? I wish we had tongs. Or a fork. Oh, yeah, see, look at them sizzle. Try it out, Al. Tell me how it tastes. Is it good? Mmm, hot. Mmm, gum. I'm at the point now where I'm like getting tired and sore. Oh. Sore and tired, but nothing beats. Best squid, huh? No. What's the plan after we eat this? Catch a mine. I think I'm fished out. Feel from the movement of the boat. We've currently got three hours left. He wants to catch a couple of whiting. I can't be bothered fishing at the moment. I'm just so sore. If we do catch any whiting or anything happens, I'll film it. It's been about 15 minutes. And Al's trying, no hits yet. Look how hungry he is to fish. That time of the night, we're gonna put these on. Ready to use air activated safe natural heat. So she's supposed to shake it. And they said it takes around half an hour for it to work. What time is? Four. Huh? Four. I'm stiff like a spooky board. You can um, ride me in if you want. That didn't sound right, did it? How's your body feeling? Oh, probably a three out of ten at the moment. <laughs> How many juice do you have in the tank? Oh, about one bar left. Oh. <laughs> a bit sore, a bit stiff. So this is all soaked and wet. I'm I'm freezing now. Oh yeah, it's cold now, huh? There's no shelter on this boat at all. You sleeping, bro? You said you didn't think I was asleep. I thought you were. I've only slept for about three minutes. I'm cold now. My back's all wet. But just over an hour left. And I'm freezing. Um, my legs are cold, my back's cold. My nose is cold, my hands are cold. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, just subscribe to the channel. Do you reckon I should subscribe, Al? Give us a subscribe, please. We're fucking cold. <laughs> Say it again, I've got to hear. Give us a subscribe. We're very cold. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't for more videos. I'm not going to tell you what the next video is. You just have to, you're just going to have to, I can't even say it's that cold, you're just going to have to subscribe and find out. Alright, I'm going to try to get some sleep, just over an hour left. What do you reckon it's blown, seriously? 
fifteen. Maybe half a metre chop there. Oh, it's daylight again. Oh man. Oh that my that's god, it. I need to go to the toilet. I need to get off this boat. I'm wet, I'm soaked, I'm freezing. Good morning. It is that cold this morning, but as you can see, have a look how beautiful that looks. Just take that in for a sec, guys. If I had the drone this morning, I would have put it up for you. How does it feel? Oh, still land you? feels so good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 